hi dear uh, Ca uh, capricorn yeah hi dear capricorn a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal of reading for all the capi sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you in the first place the second thing this is a reading for singles and this is a reading from 21st to the 30th of april so let's start <laughs> sorry let's see in the recent past what was happening capis we had the nine of pentacles so in the recent past you got single you were super focused on your money job career you were single you were independent you were focused on money your career your looks everything about you creating the abundant and prosperous life for you that was your main for, uh, main energy focus uh, in the recent past and you became single you were running away from someone or someone was running away from you there was a game of uh, chasing and running going on in the situation and that's why i felt most of you became single you felt like okay it's not worth uh, your time and energy and you felt uh, you felt like okay becoming remaining single is uh, uh, like uh, more uh, comfortable than chasing somebody or running away from someone or running away from your own feelings so you felt like okay at least take a break if not completely single just take a break hmm? for some of you, you are single from a very long time like 9 months or 9 to 10 months okay and you were focused on money job career now in the current situation let's see what are your current energies whenever i start doing this uh, reading thing you know the the workers the construction workers they start hitting the nails or the wall or something like this they love me so much hmm. let's see i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you yeah Current energies are of moving on towards karma water. You are manifesting a very good life for yourself. You are manifesting a passionate brand new beginning, a passionate brand new lover in your life. You are in this energy of, okay, let me choose the best. Let me manifest the best. Okay, let me move on towards karma water. Let me be the best first. Let me move on towards karma water. And uh, when I will be able to, you know, uh, come to this point of peace and uh, calmness within myself, let me be with somebody that is equally energetic and that is equally beautiful as me. So you're moving on towards karma water, still carrying residual energies of the past with you, but still in this energy of, okay, uh, keep moving on, keep moving on kind of right uh, energy right now. Hmm? Trying to find the peace within. Let's see uh, what is your energy for a new person or new connection or new relationship. Sun card. You are gaining a lot of truth and clarity about a past person or past situation. And because of the past person and past situation, you have become a very, very wiser version of yourself, right? And that is why I do see you attracting happy souls around you, happy people around you. And you, because you yourself is a happy kind of, and you yourself is, uh, you know, giving this energy outward to the universe that you are happy, you are abundant, you are prosperous in every area of your life. And that is why people are, people are getting attracted to you. I do see a new person, a new energy connecting with you on a very beautiful level, on a very uh, happy kind of level. And you guys are going to have a very beautiful time together. You guys are going to enjoy each other's company. And you guys are going to have this energy of, okay, uh, let's start from friendship and let's uh, see where things can go. Hmm? So you're attracting friendship kind of energies from uh, abundant and uh, beautiful people, radiant people, happy people. That's really good. Let's see what are your energies for a past person or past connection if somebody from your past is coming back or interested in coming back. Let's see. We have the king of wands and the devil to two cards we got for you for the past person or past situation. I do see still, uh, somebody still very much obsessed with you. Obsessed with you uh, like uh, very possessive for you. Somebody still have a lot of attraction towards you. A lot of physical kind of intimate kind of attraction towards you. And they cannot even understand why they are getting attracted to you when there is uh, nothing left in the situation. See this is devil card. This is Capricorn card only. There is someone around you or you yourself is very much obsessed like physically or sexually to somebody somebody from the past and you are not able to you know connect with somebody else like that so there's a uh, energy of obsessiveness there is energy of compulsiveness there is energy of attraction high uh, toxic kind of uh, attractiveness or toxic uh, kind of you know obsessiveness in the situation so somebody is obsessed with you or you are obsessed with somebody from your past i do see somebody trying to come back okay trying to connect with you but uh, holding back again like ghosting you then uh, trying to come back then ghosting you like uh, going in cycles somebody is not uh, able to understand why they still want you when everything is uh, negative when everything is toxic why they still want you because of the physical connection the addiction or obsessiveness kind of energy somebody wants you back or you want somebody back but the action is like on and off in and out kind of energy hmm? cool uh, let's see what is the guidance for you in this situation Cappy is what you should do 
नाइट ऑफ कप्स ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू यू नो गो टूवर्ड समथिंग दैट यू आर रियली अट्रैक्टेड टू और यू आर यू फील रियली पैशनेट अबाउट गो टूवर्ड समथिंग और समवन विद द ओपन हार्ट विद लव विद इंटीमेसी नॉट फिजिकल इंटीमेसी द लव इंटीमेसी द इमोशनल इंटीमेसी द कंपेटिबिलिटी यू हैव टू थिंक हार्ड एंड लॉन्ग दिस टाइम बिफोर जम्पिंग इन टू एनी काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप और सिचुएशनशिप और इवन फ्रेंडशिप काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी विद द अपोजिट सेक्स पर्सन और इवन इफ यू आर सेम सेक्स पर्सन डजेंट मैटर सो वेनेवर यू आर ट्राइंग टू गो इन टू अ न्यू कनेक्शन फ्रेंडशिप सिचुएशन रिलेशनशिप वट एवर यू कॉल इट यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट लॉन्ग एंड हार्ड do not jump into any kind of relationship or situation or friendship kind of energy just because you are getting attracted or you are having so uh, so much of this energy of you know uh passion and fire about something or someone don't uh, just uh, label it as love if you are just uh, getting attracted to somebody on a physical level and nothing else don't label it as love right so thank you so much for tuning in capis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste